What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we're going to talk about three of the very best dropper post levers. Well, if you're watching this video, you very likely have a dropper post on your mountain bike, and depending on which lever it came with, or if you're considering buying one or just upgrading your existing levers, there's a few on the market right now that we really feel strongly about are pretty much the best ones out there. And from function and everything else, just phenomenal. Uh, one of our sponsored riders, Max Morgan, just put together an article that goes into depth all about these three levers and testing them and comparing them. So check in the video description below to see that. But we're gonna give you guys a high level overview right now of all of those three levers. So starting out, Wolf Tooth Remote. These things start at 64 bucks, go to 69. 69, dude! Um, every one of these remotes right here has pretty much every uh, clamp you can think. So it's, they're gonna have clamps that just go straight on the handlebar, uh, Shimano iSpec ones, SRAM Matchmaker ones, all of that. So keep that in mind when you're buying one of these things. If you want to adapt it to your brake perfectly or if you have a brake that doesn't have an adapter, you can always just do the bar one. Um, Wolf Tooth Remote, this is a CNC piece of aluminum made in America, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Wolf Tooth. I think they make a lot of innovative, cool little products, this being one of them. This remote's been out for a while. We made a standalone video just on this thing because it's so good and was so popular. A uh, couple variants, they make a normal one and a light action one. The light action actually has a longer lever blade, so it just makes it super smooth and easy to press, which is really nice. Um, features this thing has. You can adjust it side to side in terms of like how close you want it into your grip or away from your grip with that right there. My favorite thing about this one is it has a sort of a breakaway feature. Internal inside the lever, this um, cylindrical piece is made out of plastic. And what happens is when you crash your bike and you hit this lever, and these things do break, they're kind of an easy thing to hit, whether it hits the top tube on your bike or your knee or who knows what during a crash, um, dropper post levers definitely do break. And this little piece in here is actually meant to break. It's a breakaway point. It's a piece of plastic and it's five bucks from Wolf Tooth. And and that is a really cool feature because when, you know, if and when you do break that thing, you can just replace that as opposed to having to replace the entire lever. Um, that's probably my standalone favorite feature on this thing. But it's got all the other adjustments that you'd expect. Of course, it has a sealed ball bearing, so it feels super nice. Like I mentioned, it's got a regular and a longer light action. Um, you can use this clamp, same with all these levers, with either the end of the cable or the cable head, depending on your dropper post. So compatible with any dropper post that's actuated by a physical derailleur cable. You have a barrel adjust. Um, yeah, phenomenal little product. And again, different clamps. I believe this one right here is for the iSpec, but uh, these do come with all the different clamps. Uh, let's see, next one, one up. So the one up uh, dropper post is pretty cool. And this is the remote that they came out with when they came out with the post. It's a composite lever. Again, you have all the different clamps in terms of matchmaker for SRAM, iSpec for Shimano, and just a regular handlebar clamp like you've got right here. Um, sealed ball bearing, same design where you can use either end of the cable. Um, these things have been pretty cool. One thing that people love about these is they do fit a little more tucked in underneath the lever. It's almost like if you imagine a shifter, you have your upshift and your downshift. This one kind of sits further in. Um, people like that, it has a good feeling. It's also got a concave sort of lever feel to it. We have seen a couple of these break in a crash, um, but one up's been super helpful. Their support is phenomenal. So if you do have one of these or you do break one, they'll replace it for you, no problem. Um, pretty rare though. I mean, it's pretty rare these things break in general. Um, pretty much all of them have have broken or will depending on the crash. Um, none of them really have a really cool feature in terms of like what happens if you crash other than the wolf tooth one, uh, but something to consider with this thing. Uh, very lightweight lever, good looking, and again, kind of sits under there further tucked in. So this lever is 49 bucks. It's cheaper than the other two on the table here, and it also comes with a full cable and housing, um, the ferrules in there as well, and it also comes with a seat post shim. So if you do have a one up dropper post, you have the shim that you can uh, lower and change your travel there. So if you're curious about their dropper post, we made a whole standalone video on that, reviewing it. It's a great post, um, probably one of the best ones in the price point and has really cool adjustability features. Last but not least, the PNW Loam Lever. So again, this thing, you can use either end of the cable. It's got a sealed ball bearing, barrel adjust, bunch of different kinds of clamps for brakes and handlebars. Um, one cool feature that this one has, I think this is the only dropper lever I've seen that's got this feature, little tiny set screw in here. And this will actually allow you to 
change the pitch of the lever blade. So if you want it to kind of sit deeper in like the one up one just does out of the box, um, you can actually adjust that with that set screw and it'll keep the lever pushing in a little further like that. So pretty cool little nifty feature depending on exact position you want the lever to be at. I don't think any other dropper lever on the market has that feature, but this PNW one. Uh, the other cool thing, this does have a rubber traction pad, which is pretty nice to ride with. And it comes in, I think five different colors, five different colors. Five different colors. You blew it! So good fancy little lever. Um, PNW also makes a really cool dropper post. So yeah, awesome lever right there. Uh, these are 69 bucks. Um, those are our three favorites. Again, check the link below in the video description if you want to learn more about um, all the little nitty gritty details behind these things and see some more high res images. Uh, make sure to share this video with your mountain bike buddies. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.